straight into the top five news stories of the day. Just when we thought we were done treating Ebola patients, think again. A U.S. doctor who has contracted Ebola while working in Sierra Leone is expected to be flown home for treatment. Dr. Martin Salia will be treated at Nebraska Medical Center. Officials expect him to arrive on Saturday and are making sure he is well enough for the trip. More than 5,000 people have died since the Ebola outbreak began. And continuing overseas, we've all heard reports about how ruthless the militant group ISIS is. Well, in addition to being ruthless, they're also rich. Now they have plans to mint their own currency. The group issued a statement saying they plan to mint in gold, silver, and copper, and will be sending out another statement to explain the currency's exchange rate. U.S. officials say, unlike any other terrorist organization, ISIS is self-funded. They make millions off of oil, ransom payments, taxes, and selling stolen artifacts. Back home, officials have released the results of an investigation into how a man was able to jump the White House fence and make it inside. Uh, remember that one? Well, according to the report, it's pretty clear the Secret Service seriously messed up. The report cites the organizational confusion, gaps in training, communication breakdowns, and best of all, an agent was too busy talking on his personal cell to release canines on time to catch the intruder, Omar Gonzalez. All right, and speaking of needing some fixing, Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel has ordered a complete top to bottom redo of the nation's nuclear forces. Hagel has vowed to invest billions to fix the management system of the world's deadliest weapons. He says his goal is to get to the core of the problem and make the necessary changes. And last in your top five headlines. So Paris has a serious problem with one ferocious cat. Officials have warned people to stay indoors while they frantically search for a tiger on the loose. Authorities say they are working with animal experts to track the feline and neutralize it. The search area is about six miles from Disneyland Paris, and the park says it's taken all the necessary measures to protect guests. I don't know, guys. Let's just hope they have the eye of the tiger to find this one, I guess. Uh, hey. Thank you, thank you. But can you imagine if you're sitting having like a pastry and a coffee? I just can't keep those jokes coming. No, no, no. Jared's a little mad that. though because you get it. You get it. Because I get that and Jared doesn't. No, it's all right, I get you know, preferential I'm always, treatment. I'm always on the prowl for cats too. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Oh, well, I don't have one.